One, two, three, four. Me first. Of yeah. Course. Wow. <laughs> it feels so great. Um, I'm I'm Kelsey. I'm hello. I'm Kelsey, and I'm I hello. I'm hello, and I sing. Um, yep. I'm Nick. I play the drums, and and and, and yeah. I'm Anthony. I play the <laughs> bass guitar and tuba. I'm Jake. I just play guitar sometimes. <laughs> Only sometimes. <laughs> All right. So uh, could you? Tell us a little bit about uh, how the band formed and uh, kind of like the different stages of the band. I've been a fan of you guys for like a long time, obviously, and uh, and there's been a lot of major changes recently and throughout the course of the band. So yeah. you just tell people about that. We got our, our start with uh, there's the rock school at Order of Music. We got um, pretty much the core of the band, me and Anthony, then and. Um, that's where we met our first guitar player, Ryan Connor, and then we went through a few line changes over the next few years. Then we got a uh, new singer, and Jake joined the band around 2012. And uh, we had that lineup for about three years, and we just this past, not this past February, but February of 2015, um, we announced Kelsey was in the band. So um, there's just, there's just a, few, uh, a few steps taken there, you know, just, just Kind of going from different genres. No, I wouldn't even say different genres. A little but. bit, because they're definitely way distinctly compared to what Brian was. Well, yeah, that's it. true. That's true. So kind of jumping a little from genre, going to like a little more heavier modern sound versus like a more like late '90s, early 2000s rock sound. Yeah. <laughs> well, is there any uh, 
Any particular artists that you individually look for, like towards uh, for your inspiration in your music, either at, for your instrument or as a band altogether? Like what you kind of strive to sound like, or what you think you sound like, or what you take away from other artists? Any that can come to mind? I mean, I would say like individually, we all have our uh, influences, and that's what kind of like makes us. I mean, have that sound that we try to go for. I guess. I mean, she, Kelsey, definitely like more like pop punk stuff. Uh. Mix kind of all over the map. I mean, he likes a lot of stuff. Kobe and Cambry does a big thing with him. Them two both love Rush. Rush is so. a huge influence on the writing process, for sure. Yeah. I, I just like the metalcore stuff and the progressive stuff. And stuff like that, so, yeah. All right. Um, are there any uh, favorite songs you guys have to play live, like nowadays, or that you have that you played before? Any that like stand out that like either gets you going or gets the crowd going or anything like that? No, oblivion. No. Oblivion. Yeah, oblivion. 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 Yeah, that's oblivion. 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 Oblivion for that, sure. That's the one that makes me want to like do a couple backflips. <laughs> yeah. I think each yeah. song though kind of brings its own different kind of energy and, and there's different things that you look forward to in different songs. Like um, for me, well, uh, Detonate, the second song off of our new EP, um, that's more kind of like a simple, just kind of more groove oriented song with a few more kind of like flare fills, I guess you could call them. Um, that's one that really kind of that excites me when we play that live. But it's just it's just different things in different songs, I guess. I love letters. Yeah. I, I I love opening up with letters. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, letters from War. It's really emotional to me too. So I love opening up with that, and then closing with Oblivion makes me want to punch someone. <laughs> so I oh I love it. I I would do ten thousand backflips if I could. Jake and I would do backflips together because that other. song is like... <laughs> that's what we do. Friggin', Same. yeah, that's... I love that song. The Void, too, is a really Void's fun one fun. to play. Mm. Void's fun because I get to play my drums. <laughs> you, you, you do it with Oblivion, too, though. <laughs> oh, well, I used to. Now I, I, I don't sometimes. I do sometimes. Just depends on what kind of mood she's in. Yeah, that depends <laughs> on my mood. But, yeah. So, uh, I know you guys have been on a couple tours. Um... Could you maybe tell us what that's like, or any like stories from being on tour? Where you going? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man. I think we all thought it was the same thing. No! <laughs> oh, man. Um, I'll let one of them say the stories, because I'll probably like say way better. Uh, Kelsey, I haven't been doing a lot of talking. Yeah. I haven't them. been doing a lot of talking? <laughs> all right. Um, let's see. What's the best story? Give me the best story, and then I'll it's tell it. It's probably something from Florida. Florida. That's, yeah. Say. That's what I figured. Which, which one would you do? 10,000 um, fire ants? 10,000 fire ants, but also um, my sister. Oh, yes. Oh, my yeah. sister, because oh, yeah. um, yeah. we went down to Florida. It was with me for the first time, Last and uh, met some people that... The well, rest of the guys had already known. Yeah, we had known them from the last time we went down. There's this guy specifically. Uh, his name is Chris Sherry. Mm -hmm. We and love you, Chris. We love yes. you for watching. He's probably not, but that's okay. <laughs> and he is a great guy, and he loves Kevlar. And so he introduced himself to me, and we had a great time and whatever. And so we were sitting at a bar one night, and we were about to play. <laughs> and he's talking to me, and he said, oh, shit, what did he say? He said, uh, you know, what's it like being away from home? Because I'm from New York. And I was like, eh, it's, you know, it's hard, but I love what I'm doing here and I love the guys and all that stuff. And he was like, do you have anyone back home? I said, yeah, I have a sister. And he just looks at me. He was so disappointed. So, he was like, so <sighs> serious. And, and he goes, how old is she? And I was like, oh, she's 15. He goes, that's a slap. <laughs> just <laughs> like, like he was like literally like like about to go. He was ball. so disappointed. Like, like his day was ruined <laughs> yeah. from there on. Yeah, out. he was just like so b bummed about for no reason. There's yeah. we have we have a really good time with him because there's a ton more stories like about how some he bad was. Ones too. Yeah, he was he was drunk in the back of another guy's car and he was just saying ow and the guy was like Chris Sherry why are you saying ow and he was like. I think there's about 10,000 fire ants in your back seat. <laughs> and it's funny the way that he talks, too. Like, he has a kind of like a He's southern accent. Well, it's very yeah. southern. Yeah, yeah it's very course. southern, but it's just mm -hmm. like so, like, you can tell, like, right away, like, he just. We're telling all these stories out of love, Chris, if you're watching <laughs> yeah. this. All right, uh, have there been any, uh, like, highlight shows recently? I know you played one last night oh at uh, Sherlock's, God. or any that you're looking forward to? Escape the Face. Oh, Escape the Face is going to be so, so cool. Be good. Yeah. yeah. And when is that? Uh, Thursday, this Thursday, the 19th. Mm -hmm. We're selling pre-sale tickets if this goes off before we play the show, so... 
I'm excited to go down to uh, Nashville. As am I. Nashville. And then we're playing. Monday, we're going to be in Pittsburgh playing with Stitched Up Heart. Yeah. Tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I was pretty stoked. We played a show with uh, One Eyed Doll and I Said to Kill a couple of weeks ago. That was a pretty, pretty great night. I, mm. I had a really good time. We also played with Davy Suicide. Uh, a couple weeks ago at the same place at the Agora, and that was that was a good time too. So, yeah. Rhiannon's just like, oh. Yeah, um, that was a really, <clears throat> really fun night. All of those nights, and I'm really looking forward to Escape the Fate because that's, yeah, that's the cool. emo in me. So. <laughs> They're really cool. Oh yeah, for sure. So, uh, keeping on the, the point of shows, um, I guess probably just go down the line. If there could, if there was any artist you could open for. And I'm pretty sure I know who Nick and Anthony would pick. Oh, who, that's who would it be? That's not even okay. a question. All right, should uh, we like stick like with the genres, or should we just like go like completely like? You can do whatever you want. Just completely out All of right, the box. All right, we'll start with Kelsey again. Let's All right. right now. Let's see. That's not even a question because everyone knows what my answer is going to be. It, it's just I'm not even going to stick with the genre because I think we can fit with multiple genres. So I'm going to say Paramore. I'm I'm yeah, going to say Paramore. Fit we would fit with them yeah. for. At least a little for bit. For somewhat. Most, for yeah. I would also say Evanescence, which we would fit we with would them totally as well. We would totally fit with them really well. I would cry. I would physically assault myself <laughs> if that happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Um, a couple more that I would love that I'm recently getting into is a little bit harder, like Ice Nine Kills, for Defeater. Sure. Um... I, I, I actually I'm really excited to play with Escape the Fate. They were never on my list, but now that they now that we're playing with them, they kind of are on my list. So I, I think that's pretty cool. They have cool. a couple cool tunes. Yeah, they and yeah. especially growing up, like yeah. they had some they had some mm. rad stuff. So um, definitely that and who else? We wouldn't fit with Tina and Sarah. Katy Perry. Yeah. I want to open up for Katy Perry. I don't want to open up for Katy Perry. I would so open up for Katy Perry. Let's, <laughs> let's see that pivot. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. Those are my answers. All right. Um, okay, Rush. We all know that's not going to happen, though, because they're retired now, and I'm sad. Um, I like Foo Fighters a lot. I, if I ever got to share the stage with Dave Grohl, um, I think I would also be able to physically assault myself. <laughs> um... <laughs> Um, Coheed and Cambria, yeah. uh, they're really cool. I really like them a lot. Nothing more. Mm -hmm. uh, those are. I think that's a big influence for all of us. Yeah, that is would nothing be more. Weird. That would be really cool. like a long time. Ago. Yeah, we before actually they were big. before they were big. Before they yeah, before they got really big, we got to open up for them with Adrenaline Mob, which was Mike Portnoy. He was drumming for them at the time, and I got to meet him for like half of a second. Night in my pants. Mm -hmm. Periphery. Oh, I'd like to play with Periphery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I knew that's gonna be on my. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to steal your thunder. Yeah, no doubt. Kelsey. Oh, no doubt. That would be a fun show. No like, like 90s, no doubt. Yeah. Oh, wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> mm, ones. That'd be a lot of no, fun. Alright, Anthony Rupp. Um, Rush, also Pink obviously. Floyd. But, you know, Rush, I would be actually pissed to open for them because they're too good to have anybody. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> um, I'd love to do Periphery. I think we would do really good with uh, Breaking Benjamin or Stone Sour. Ooh, I think we'd fit good. Oh, yeah, Slipknot that's... too. Oh, that would be. Uh, we probably. That would be a stretch, but maybe. That would be a stretch, but we're definitely that. That would be cool year. for yeah. sure. That would be fun. All right, Jake. Okay. <laughs> definitely prefer Ice Nine Kills, Creed. <laughs> oh my God! I forgot about oh, Creed. Puddle, we already, we already Just, played with Puddle of Mud. Oh, how come we didn't play with Puddle of Mud? Well, we forgot about Nickelback. 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 We should tell us what about the the story about Wes? Should we go back? Oh God, not now. That's a story for another time. But yeah, for another time. That was. Yeah, Periphery Eyes Nickels are my top right now. Um, I like to play with Memphis Mayfire. They're pretty cool. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. Their older stuff was really groovy. Um. Yeah, Creed. Creed. Yeah, Creed. Oh, good. I think Red too. would be pretty cool too. Yeah. I yeah, think Red we'd would be fit cool. good with them. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, for the next question, why have you not covered Nocturne by Tesseract yet? <laughs> We've talked about that actually We've, like, played numerous that? times. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, why yeah. don't we just do it? <laughs> just one drum day. Just to do it, drum. yeah. Drum tuning would definitely be an issue. We're jamming with though. one song. Uh, I don't even think we should say it because I don't know if we're, we're probably never going to I don't honestly it. know what you're talking about. 22? Oh, oh, 22. Oh, 22. We did talk, 22 about, we did talk about 22 faces. Yeah, those, so long, like, with this, those oh, songs, yeah. the issue with those comes into tuning and they're just yeah. so odd. Yeah, and the fact that I can't match Matt Halpern for a paper bag. So. <laughs> yeah. 
I can't do it. I think we'll stick with Katy Perry for now. Yeah. Katy Perry. Maybe someday when we can afford six oh, and eight strings. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Nine strings. Nine, strings. Nine, strings. Nine strings. Strings. Josh Travis strings. Yeah, just to uh, I would I would start killing people if there's eleven <laughs> strings. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Right. So, um, well, why don't why don't you guys explain the uh, Katy Perry cover that you guys do? Because mm -hmm. I'm not sure a lot of people. Because I know I I know what you guys are talking about, but for the audience. Mm -hmm. Um, Nick and I are very big fans of Katy Perry. Um, I have a tattoo of her on my foot. I don't. I, if I had my backpack on me, which is actually out there, I have a signed lipstick by her that's in my backpack right now that I carry around because I just can't even talk about it because I'll get emotional. But, um, <laughs> so it was early on. I had just joined the band and we were talking about doing a cover for live and I was like, oh yeah, we should just do Katy Perry and Nick was like, yeah, we should. It's like let's do it, like right now, like yeah, don't even stop, like let's go. And then Anth and Jake kind of just got dragged in, dragged in there, and now it's one of our like we, we were we, able to make it though, like kind we of put like it's a, way different. We sort of. yeah, we definitely made it <laughs> yeah. uh, into something. Yeah, we put like a heavier twist on it and yeah. put it in the low Bass tuning drops like and all that. <laughs> samples. 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 That's that's definitely one of the uh, one of the best parts of our set too. That's I fun, have, it's a fun song. It's to play. A, such a fun song mm -hmm. to play, and it's such a fun song to hear people's reactions to because everyone knows the song. Yeah, like whether you like that stuff or not. Whether you like it or not, and so it. people. Yeah. Come up to us all the time, and they're like, "Look, I hate that song. I hate it." But you guys, like, I just rocked out, and yeah. I was like, yes. "I've been, we've been, I've been told so many times, so many times, sure. like, just record it, just please, just yeah, just record it." it. When we first decided to do it, we we're like, "All right, well, people are either going to turn their backs to us and walk out of the room, or they're going to really dig it." And so far, everybody loves luckily. it. Luckily, yeah. luckily, yeah. yeah. That's true. Mm -hmm. Well, it's definitely a very unique cover. Um, <laughs> chance, dude. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, have there been any other covers that you guys have played throughout the years that uh, you thought were special that were like either you did your own version of it or that you just loved playing? Brian was our singer. We did The Chain by Fleetwood Mac. I remember that. That was yeah, his favorite. That. But um, uh, Unholy Confessions by Avenged Sevenfold was always fun. Yeah. Obviously, Working Man for me and him was always special. Oh, we did Working Man by Rush for yeah. a little bit. <laughs> so this has been Studio B with Kevlar. One, two, three, four. <laughs>
Beautiful, Jake. Beautiful. Don't break the Hi, uh, fourth wall. Wait, we shouldn't break the fourth wall? Yeah, if you don't break the fourth wall, we're never going to do this again. It's okay, good. What?